me living in the Bronx for so many years, I, I wanted to confront it and show what is the Bronx? What, what, what is this, this area that, that I live in that I, I hate and I love at the same time? Every time I shoot, my, my project has always been about um, capturing time. And this project, I've noticed it, it's, it's creeped in there. And I am photographing time, as far as time it takes for the, the Bronx to change. I was looking for a project that, um, uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird to say, but I didn't want to deal with people anymore. As far as like all my other projects have deal with portraits and deal with people and deal with, deal with, with the um, sort of uh, you get involved in their life in some sh small way um, and it's uh, sort of taxing sometimes um, and this I just wanted to be quiet I just wanted to be me and the subject uh, which, which is the area Sariga um, and just be able to just do photographs and not to be aware by anything. just me, the camera, and the world. And I'm deciding, okay, today I'm gonna to show the world this. That, that whole fleeing moment part that you don't know where it comes from, it just happens and it happens all in one second, and then it, it's over. But it's a sort of like, a, sort of an artistic high of trying to go out there and trying to make something out of nothing. People have shot buildings before, people have shot streets before. And I always think, what do I have to say that's different? For the night shots, I, I notice I'm, I'm working on doing long exposures, which is something I'm not normally uh, accustomed to. So I had to actually do research and do a lot of tests as far as what exposure worked for my camera and for my environment. Being alone in the car, driving out there, I get to, it gets me uh, into the right mind frame as far as photographing. And I sort of really like the, the feeling of getting lost in working. I don't have a word to describe what makes me stop. It's sort of more like a feeling. I, I drive around and, and it's just something tells me that I should stop. Sunday mornings have the experience because there's always the, the, the leftovers of Saturday night and of uh, the prostitutes and the, the hitting clubs. Uh, it's been many times that I've driven out Sunday, Sunday mornings and there's people wandering in the streets in the middle of nowhere. There's no, nothing but factories, nothing but parking lots. And uh, there is an aspect that, that I get back in my car and, and move because uh, my safety is the most important thing above everything.
the certain places in the Bronx that I, that I no longer have access to, uh, that I used to be able to go in and shoot freely. Hotels are going up, shopping malls are going up, and I'm, I'm sort of now in, 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 uh, in a race to sort of capture it how it was before, but I also want to capture how it looks afterwards. Finding now at night the areas, um, another thing is coming to factor now are the street lights. The street lights are, are starting to be my, my photography assistants almost and lighting up the area. And it, it was frustrating at first uh, dealing with them um, because I just didn't know how to, how it interacted with my photographs. But it, I'm learning how to um, deal with the street lamps and deal with how the color uh, affects the, the night. Uh, through long exposures um, and um, and the movement in the sky and how the sky looks while we're reflecting um, the, the street lamps below. This is the Bronx, and this is sort of um, in a weird, weird beautification of it, um, with the mixture of the urban, um, mixture of the decay, the, the mixture of the renewal, um, all mixing into one area, and it's sort of struggling to sort of coexist with each other, and it's that struggle that I, I like to capture, and um, I hope that comes through the, through the photographs. Uh, but ultimately, I just want people to be pleased with aesthetically with the photograph, and I think ultimately that's what ultimately what good photographs are. Uh, deep down, uh, I think we bring our own feelings to it a lot of times. But uh, initially, I think the aesthetics of a photograph that it's a really beautiful shot makes the photograph, no matter what it is. Thank you.